I went outside. It's like probably around 100. Well, it's in the 90s, but it definitely on the app it says it feels like 100, and it does. And the sand was so hot, but I didn't have my swimsuit on, so I couldn't go in the ocean. I was just burning out there. So um, I walked around a little bit. I got some water. Um, update on my eating situation since I've been here being a vegetarian. It's very odd. I was under the impression for Thailand that they had like more kind of vegetarian options. More like, they have tons of fresh fruit, which is really cool. But since I've been in touristy areas, they kind of inflate the price. Obviously street food, it's very hard to find vegetarian options because most of it is meat. You can ask them to like omit certain things, but you can find vegetarian things here for sure. It's more so just, I don't like to eat junk food and there's a lot of that. Um, I think I just need to find better places. I don't know. I've kind of been going off of convenience and stuff like that, but I don't want you guys to think that um, I'm not grateful to be able to travel something like that because I really am. And I really enjoy the places that I go. It's just there's some circumstances where it's like, Maybe I focus more on the circumstances of it's it's hard because I feel like a lot of people don't. But maybe I should focus more on the other stuff too. I don't know. It's hard because like the other stuff is when I'm in the moment I'm enjoying it and I don't wanna like film it. But Okay. I kinda use my camera just to vent. I'm sorry guys. Wanna burn that easy? What do I do now? The after sun stuff. But then it means I can't go out. Trouble in paradise! Then it means I can't go out. Someone got burnt because they went out in 100 degree weather and didn't put a sunblock on and now they're complaining about it. It's because you didn't put sunblock on me. You left me go out. You can't. Alone. Okay, this is this is what happened. He went out and I'm like, don't go to the beach without me because we didn't look at it yet. And then I'm like, hey, where are you at? He's like, beach. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I have to deal with. This is why there's so much trouble while traveling. So now he's completely burnt and uh, don't know what to tell you. You need to take care of me. <laughs> my poorly skin. Hey, let's show your burntness. No, I'm so red. No. Yeah. I don't burn. Comment below if you get sunburn or if you don't. What do you mean you don't get burnt? I don't ever get burnt. Some people's skin don't doesn't burn. It just tans. Why is it mine? Because you're a pale British boy. I'm, I'm not. I'm really upset. I burnt. I was trying not to burn. I didn't think I'd burn. How were you trying not to burn? You went out. Well, why did you let me go out without any salt? I told on? you don't go to the beach without me. But you have to agree, it's really hot, isn't it? Extremely hot. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like, it's way hotter than Phuket for some reason. I mean, way hotter than Patong Beach for some reason. Yeah, it's like unbearably hot. Yeah, and it's like, it's only a little bit more south. It's I was not... like, I'll bear it for five minutes and I'll come out like a fucking lobster. He's a red lobster now. So you know it's making it worse than this day. When I wake up tomorrow, you're not going to recognize me. <laughs> why? I'm just a little like fucking Dr. Zoidberg. Who's, so like, who's that? Like walking around with sunblock tattoos everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I'd like have sunblock on because I'm a responsible individual. I have any sunblock. Let's use yours. Use your celery sunblock. You don't like it because it smells of celery. <laughs> I don't care. Protect yourself. Well, at least your farmer's hand might not be yeah, as noticeable. Yeah, that's why it didn't work. It smells like celery. You don't like it. Fuck my life. Let's go to the beach. No! It is later in the day. I'm back at the beach, it's a lot cooler now. But now I'm gonna catch the sunset, so let's do that.
That is beautiful out there. It's so it's beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Do you guys see that right now? That's pretty. Do you mind if I film? Uh, Do you mind if I film? No, it's fine. It's okay. Alright, another issue. Is um I wasn't joking on Julio. <laughs> He's really sick. So we had to go into the clinic. Doctor. He has been vomiting amongst other activities. <laughs> Everything up. So, see what he has. Yeah, we had so much liquid. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm not telling you I've got no liquid. You're gonna give me some liquid. <laughs> Maybe we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. <laughs> Netflix, Netflix, and IV. <laughs> <laughs> this is coming on like a move. <laughs> Please stop. Because of my clinic, Netflix and chill. has a very high temperature and very low blood pressure. So it really takes like start this tomorrow though. Um, so it's song song grant starting today this weekend and everything where they uh, squirt water guns at each other. Ah, oh, fucking ah. Uh. I can't. Oh, my camera's all foggy. It's like a war zone out here. You can't go outside without getting soaked. Like, I don't want to get wet. And Everyone just splashing water everywhere. Wet. I had to cover myself. Like I wanted to go to the gym, and now my shoes are wet. Uh, but yeah. so it's the next 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 day. I don't know what day it is anymore. So today is Songkran, which is the um, Thailand New Year. So everybody is outside with water soakers and buckets of water and literally they're standing on both sides of the street ready to attack anyone who walks by. I didn't know that it was so intense and I just wasn't really thinking and took my camera and my phone out. I had to like dash, but like knock these kids out of the way, like get out of my way, don't get me wet, I have electronics. And then I had to like dash back, it was very stressful. Mask Man Haptic 44 got extremely ill last night, or the night before last night. He threw up everything, uh, couldn't keep anything down, even had blood in his vomit. Just really, really bad. Um, his blood pressure went really low and he had a high fever, so we had to go into the medical clinic. Um, basically, they just put him on an IV because he was dehydrated and made him lay down for a while, gave him a, um, some stuff to help himself with uh, releasing all of his water and nutrients, <laughs> vomiting and otherwise. And then they gave him an antibiotic and then he stayed in there for a while and then, or at least to go home. He almost threw up on the way back from the clinic, which is good that he didn't. He was able to keep down the liquids they just put in him, so that was good. Um, and then today, 
he is getting better so that's good it was really stressful because the whole day yesterday i was just kind of trying to help take care of him he couldn't eat or drink or anything like that without like severely vomiting so he must have gotten sick with some sort of food thing which i i realize now is very common when you come to thailand or so i'm hoping that i don't get anything like that he was eating street food and meat and stuff on the street i don't eat meat but that doesn't mean that i'm exempt from getting sick so hopefully i stay healthy there he was able to eat a little bit he ate half his meal and only, only threw it up half his meal last night and then today he went out we went out together and he finally got enough energy to be able to eat that seems to be passing now we just have to figure out how to navigate song cran which i don't mean to be a scrooge but fuck it <laughs> literally for the next few days can't go out without getting completely soaked so i can't take my camera out really or my phone or my passport or my money it's a war zone out there it is a war zone you guys are underestimating how vicious these children and adults are I, I had to get, um, I booked another night to stay at this hotel and the lady had to leave the hotel for a second to get me a different card. She went out dry and she came back completely soaked and she handed me the card dripping with water. And I'm just like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I went out last night and it wasn't even song grand yet and they squirted me in the eye from a moped. They shot me in the eye, drive by, shooting. And I was just going out to try and get I don't know, I was probably trying to get like some coconut water or something for a masked man. Just, you know, I was not in the mood. That is what is going on. And stay tuned for what unfolds next. Um, hopefully, we'll see how masked man's doing in the next video. Hopefully, he's better. Hopefully, we can finally like do some fun stuff instead of all these struggles. I don't know. We'll see. That's the adventure of life. I love you all very, very much. Stay extraterrestrial. And I'll see you in the next video.